Today, we'll be going over the basic modeling workflow in Comsa Multiphysics. Setting up and solving a simulation follows a standard single workflow, so no matter what problem you're trying to solve, the sequence of steps in your simulation are always the same. When creating a model from scratch, your workflow consists of the following steps. First, set up your model. Then, create your geometry, specify your materials, define your physics, create your mesh, run your simulation, and lastly, post-process your results. To demonstrate the workflow, we will model a thermal electromechanical MEMS actuator. So let's get started. In this demo, we will be modeling a thermal electromechanical MEMS actuator. So to get started, we would open Comsol Multiphysics, and you'll see that we are brought to the new window. And here we have two options for setting up our model. We can use the model wizard as a guide for immediately specifying the spatial dimension, physics, and studies that we would want to include in our simulation, or we could just start with a completely empty model. For this example, let's go ahead and utilize the model wizard. Here we would select our space dimension, and you'll see that we have a variety of options to choose from, from 3D to 2D axis symmetry, all the way down to 0D. Our model is three-dimensional, so let's go ahead and select 3D. Here we are brought to the Select Physics window, and this is where you would choose any of the physics that you want to include in your simulation. You can add as many physics as you want, and you can select and create any combination of physics that you want. So we really have complete freedom and flexibility, especially when it comes to modeling any type of multi-physics phenomena. You'll also notice that all the physics are grouped by application area, so it makes it a lot easier to navigate to whatever you are looking to simulate. Let's say, for example, you wanted to model the electric currents in a circuit. You would go under the ACDC branch and add the electrical circuit interface. Or maybe you had a fluid flow problem. You wanted to model fluid structure interaction. You would go under the fluid flow branch and then select and add the fluid structure interaction multi-physics interface. We can also always use the F1 key or the help button to access contextual help for any currently selected node or item within Comsa Multiphysics. For our example of a thermal actuator, the actuator is activated through resistive heating or joule heating. So we would go under the heat transfer branch then under Electromagnetic Heating, and select and add the Joule Heating Multiphysics Interface. And you'll see here that when I added Joule Heating, the constituent physics of electric currents and heat transfer in solids were both added, as well as a multiphysics node, which provides all of the couplings between the two. Now, the great thing with console multiphysics is that we're not restricted to any pre-implemented cases of physics. We have complete control over how weakly or strongly coupled we want our combined physics to be. I could have started off with a completely uncoupled problem by just adding the electric currents interface and then solving for that and later on adding heat transfer in solids and adding and configuring all of the multi-physics couplings between the two. But as I just did, I added the Joule Heating Multiphysics Interface. Moving on to the study, you'll see we are brought to the Select Study window. And here we have a list of studies available based on all of the physics that were selected to be in our model. We also have a list of custom studies. And this includes an empty study where you can choose and order the solving steps using any of the solvers available in Comsa Multiphysics, such as the Eigenvalue Solver, the Modal Solver, Stationary Solver, Direct, Segregated, and Iterative Solvers, whatever you need for your analysis objectives. In our example, we are conducting a stationary study, so we select Stationary, and clicking the Done button will bring us to the Comsol Desktop. So here we have reached the Comsol Desktop, and you'll notice the ribbon up top contains these steps to complete your model. There is the model builder window, which houses the model tree and all the node settings. Next to that, we have the settings window. 
and then the messages progress log windows, as well as the graphics window. All of these steps within the ribbon tabs are also accessible through the model builder window through right clicking the respective node. In this demo, we are running version 4.4 of Comsol Multiphysics on Windows. The user interface shown here will differ from yours if you are running the software on a Mac or Linux operating system. You can really see that the workflow within Comsol Multiphysics is reflected throughout the user interface. You can see the logical sequence of steps your workflow should take in the home ribbon, the tabs following the home ribbon, as well as the model builder window. So no matter what stage you're in within your model building, you can always see the next steps you should take in order to complete your simulation. Thanks to the model wizard, we have already specified our spatial component. And moving right along, the next step in our workflow would be to create definitions. You can create any constants or parameters in Comsol Multiphysics through the parameters button, any variables through the variables button, as well as functions to be used in the model. If we go in the definitions tab, you'll also notice we can create different types of selections, probes, and couplings of any of the geometry of our model. But we are going to skip this step in the interest of time for this demonstration.